Disneyland Paris as one of the world's best theme park resorts. When searching for package holidays, you often get paired up with hotels that are located in nearby neighbourhoods that may turn out to not be so nearby. How do you know if you're going to be actually close to the theme parks or just close to a disaster? This is Stu for Out and Back Travel. Today I'm breaking down where Mickey's neighbours can actually be found and what your options are for staying over near France's own Magic Kingdom. Located just outside the capital city of Paris, it's so easy to get to the Disneyland Paris Resort through many different transport options. I've previously covered this in a video, the one where I drove to Disneyland Paris for the day. I'll pop a link to that at the end of this one. When you search for Disneyland Paris break, your accommodation option is usually found in one of the following neighbourhoods. You have the Disneyland Resort itself, Bussy St George's, Torcy and Noisy Le Grand. Let's take a look at which hotels are found in each neighbourhood. Compared to its Florida counterpart, the Disneyland Paris Resort is relatively small, which means you truly are staying in the magic. The Disneyland Hotel is even located above the entrance to the Disneyland Park. The on-site hotels are all within walking distance. The budget options will be located the furthest away. It's still only a 20 minute walk. And of course, you can take the complimentary shuttle bus transfers too. Disney's Hotel Cheyenne and Hotel Santa Fe are the most budget conscious options. These hotels have had a light Pixar theme added to their already immersive environments. From Disney Sequoia Lodge upwards, the resorts gain a swimming pool and get you a little bit closer to the theme parks. The Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, will officially relaunch in 2021 with its new Marvel theming, along with refurbished rooms, character meet and greets. There's over 300 pieces of art which will be on display. Just slightly offside are the two official Disney self catering options. Neither of these offer a shuttle bus and you have to drive to the parks yourself. You have the Disney Davy Crockett Ranch, which offers woodland cabins and features a swimming pool. And then you have Le Village Nature Shore Paris, which is a joint venture between Disney and Centre Parks. It features self catering style lodges in amazing landscaped environments. And of course, it being Centre Parks, there's a large subtropical water world. On the edges of the main Disney resort area, you can find what Disney calls their specially hand-picked hotels. They refer to the scheme as the Good Neighbour Hotels at their US resorts. These are not Disney-owned hotels, but are operated by third parties. They do have an official partnership to ensure they meet Disney's service standards and offer access to Disney transportation services. These are located in the purple section of this map. You'll find the B&B Hotel, Explorers Hotel, Campanile, Dream Castle, Magic Circus and Radisson Blue Hotel. The Explorers Hotel gets my top pick for families. This colourful hotel has a swimming pool with water slides, an extensive arcade and lots of children focused activities. There's even themed suites available. The last two partner hotels are located in the Val de Europe area. These are the Hotel Elysee and the Adagio Marne Le Valley Val de Europe, which gets my top pick for those who want a little extra space. These self-catering apartments also have access to a swimming pool. Val de Europe is a shopping mall with a designer brand outlet centre and a sea life aquarium. There are more hotels in this area like the Ibis, however these are not part of the official handpick scheme and you'll have to make your own way to the park. There is however a train station which will get you to the park in only a few minutes. Following the RER train line, you'll get to the most popular off-site areas. The RER train line is convenient for both Disneyland Paris and Paris itself if you're looking to explore the city. It also means these hotels are accessible if you're arriving by Eurostar and don't have a car. These are largely chain hotels which offer affordable options if you're looking to save the Euros. If you are driving, these areas are also easily accessible via the A4 motorway. Travelling down the RER line, we first come to Bussy St George, which is a six minute train ride. Here you'll find a Mercure, a Campanile, a B&B and a Premier Class. The next stop down the line is Torcy. It's still only a 12 minute journey to the park. Here you'll find another B&B hotel and a Premier Class, which gets my top pick for cheapskates. This hotel can be booked for as little as €35 Euros per night and that's for up to three people. It also includes a breakfast and free parking. If you follow the train line a little further across towards Paris, you come to the suburb of Noisy-le-Grand, which is a 20 minute train ride to the park. 
and here you'll find the chain hotels like a Holiday Inn, a Novotel and an Ibis. Overall, my top pick would be to stay on site. Any one of the official on-site hotels would be amazing as they're all so close to the theme parks, it really is a joy to stay over inside the Disney bubble. Just be mindful, if you're visiting in an off-peak season when the theme parks may close slightly earlier, there might not be too much evening entertainment in the value resorts, so your glow-teeny bar bill will be making you wish you'd sprung a little extra cash to get a hotel with a pool and some extra facilities. Disneyland Paris also often offers great package deals including tickets and even dining plans so it's worth checking the website to see what's available. So that concludes our guide on where to stay and the areas around Disneyland Paris. Was this guide helpful? Have you stayed at any of these hotels before? Please let me know in the comments below and as always stay safe on the way out and back. Thank you.